Okay, so I guess I should actually introduce myself. My name is Tiffany. Um, I am going to be 30 years old in August 2023, which is really... It's like, it's cool. I am excited, but I also just feel like I'm stuck in this space again. Like, I feel like it's this cycle I keep reliving over and over and over again. That, like, I get to a point where I do achieve some of my goals and then I just get stuck again. So I'm stuck in this space of, like, having to share, um, having to share a home with people that I'm not really comfortable with, but feeling like I really have nowhere else to go. So here I am trying to do something out of my comfort zone. Um, I was going to school, but now I'm not because it's gotten too expensive. You know, I have a decent job, but for California, it's not, it's not cutting it for SoCal. And, you know, a couple different articles have come out already saying that, um, you know, the, the, what was it? The, um, the poverty line, I guess you could say, or considered, uh, Low income was, I believe, 70000 for L.A. County and then 80000 for Orange County per year. So you'd think that's enough to, like, get by. And to be honest, it, it can be if you have roommates <laughs> and you share a space. But it's really, really hard when those people don't um, respect you, respect your space, respect you know, your time and the fact that you actually have to earn your money, you have to get up in the morning and you don't have a partner and you don't have family to really push you forward or um, catch you when you're falling. So I don't know, I'm here, I'm going to try something new. I do wish to inspire, I hope to inspire others that are in, you know, the same boat as me that things can change. And I want to see if that's true. I want to, I want to figure it out for myself too. I've had a lot of struggles the past couple years and um, I'm tired of people taking taking so much time away from me. It's time I'll never get back and I just want to learn to live my life, learn to love myself again and just be free. Free to do the things I want to do, free to not feel like I'm forced to do things I don't want to do, like get up in the morning and go to a job that's really not really achieving anything and it's kind of soul sucking you know corporate america it's not what you think it is and i'm kind of tired of it and i know it sounds kind of whiny at this point but, <laughs> but i've had so many years of just bottling everything in and i'm ready to just let it out i'm ready to let it out and i want to be open and honest because i feel like that's lacking you know i there are certain people that i see on youtube um or Instagram and yeah they try to be honest about their situations about what they're going through but it still feels kind of masked in the sense of like let's get some real conversation going let's get some topics that are kind of scary to talk about things that you you know make you cringe <laughs> um I'd love to do that I just I want to do more with my life I want to do more than just wake up in the morning, get a cup of coffee, and then go sit in my cubicle for eight hours, you know? More than just scrolling on Instagram for hours and saying, oh man, look at them, like they have such a great life, and you know, half the time it's not, it's not the case, but <laughs> I don't know, I'd like to try and see if it really works, if what all these people are doing and what they're talking about actually gets them you know, the house, the cars, whatever. And like, I'm not a materialistic person per se. Trust me, I do like, um, I do like to indulge in certain things and I do like the finer things in life, but I can't afford them. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's hard when your basic needs feel like they're somewhat met, but they're not really fully met. Like having a home, a place to just be you, be by yourself and um, grow as opposed to, you know, you can probably hear in the background hearing people banging pots or like screaming on the phone all the time and having parties when you're trying to go to bed early for, um, work the next day or, or an early morning workout and you just can't, you know? Um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks because I feel like I've come a long way, but, um, it just never seems to be enough. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. It's like, why isn't it enough? Why isn't it enough? The other day I was sitting in my car. 
in some like prayer time and I was like, Lord, I just, I want to get to the point where I'm actually content. Like Paul says, be content in everything. Even when you have a little, even when you have a lot. And I'm just like, how do I get to that point? What is true contentment? Is that really possible? When can I get to the point where I don't want more and more and more and more? You know what I mean? Like, if I do get the home, can I just be content with that home? Do I not, will I not want to get a bigger home? Like, see, I have all these questions. I have so much to talk about. <laughs> so much to get off of my brain. But yeah, learning the art of contentment. I'm trying, but it's really hard. <laughs> Anyway, that's me. I'm Tiffany. Uh, we'll be 30 next month. So let's try this. You know, I feel like a lot of people do have this like stigma around like getting into your 30s or, you know, even into your late 20s and you haven't been married yet and you haven't had kids and you haven't done this and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, why are we so fixated on timelines? Like, we don't all have the same story. So why are we so critical? And why do we even put it on ourselves to have these standards that are sometimes unattainable, unreachable, but but essentially we all want. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, so those are my thoughts. That's my intro. I just want to chat. I guess I really do have a lot to say. <laughs> but anyway... That's me. I'm Tiffany. I live in Southern California, Orange County, to be precise. And I love it here. But it's very difficult to survive out here when you're by yourself completely. So yeah, follow me. Check out this. I'm gonna call it a social experiment because <laughs> it does have to do with the way that you carry yourself around others, the way that you interact with the world and you know, you can't get away from being around other humans, and I don't want to do that either. So, um, it's a social experiment to see exactly how far we can get with this channel. So, help the sister out. Thanks.